cameras trained on one man. Will he add to his total of four goals from his last three? This is EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And on the menu, live action from League 2. Lee, this ought to be special. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to get off to a quick start here, attack the game from the off, impose your game plan, and hopefully we get a good game. Well, you certainly can't underplay how proficient our hosts are in front of goal. Just look at the record, best in the league, Lee. Well, Derek, they literally score for fun this lot, clinical. But it's all about the service for me and their top draw when it comes to the supply line. So the initial 11 for the home side. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. This is the lineup for the visitors today. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker. Two wingers will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield. A back four, the two full-backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre-backs. And the match is underway. Ivan Bayiu. Luca Garitano. An important interception. Well, you know, most teams have a preferred way of playing. The visitors do like to press high. They try to force errors. Lee, do you anticipate seeing that from them in this game? Yeah, I do, Derek. I really do. It's a brave way of playing, though, away from home. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, it is good play. You might question the defending, but I prefer to be positive. Really good build-up and an easy finish. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Lee Seung-woo. Dembele. Timothy Weah. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. He's in behind the defence here. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one-versus-one one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. Alexandru Paun. It's way up on the ball. An incisive pass. Chance, maybe. Well, no damage done. Monduki. They've regained possession. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the home team. 15 minutes played, 1 1. Thanks very much, as always, Alan. Look at Garitano. Dembele. And he did well to cut it out. Merci. 
there to take it away. Way up. Looks promising this. And he's in. And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, as we see again here, the damage he started with a beauty of a through ball and he composes himself, coolly slides it past a lonely keeper who will be asking questions about where his back four went to. Well, the manager must be delighted with his team after they showed that attitude to get back into this top stuff. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Florent Anna. Well, there to intercept. Oh, he's really opened them up here. It might be. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate. And it's a dream of a strike. Lovely language style. What a goal. So there we have it. 2-1. Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good-looking move. Gakpa. Oh, lovely ball. And he's in the clear. And it goes! Two goals in rapid-fire fashion. And looking very... Here. Well, we can see it again here now, and it all starts with the ball over the top, perfectly weighted. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Look at Garitano. Just getting news of a goal in the Toulouse match. Let's hear about that goal from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Chateau. 31 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Lopez. Lee Seung Wu. A oh, terrific pass. Way up could reduce the deficit and he does there is hope for them despite the adversity they suffered earlier well let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens and he chooses to use power in the finish not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard Well, neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. Anna. Ndiaye. Monduki. And they have possession again. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. Monduki. No space for them here. It did look on for them, but not to be. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Alexandru Paun.
setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Must score! Oh, and it goes! Now they're level! Who saw this coming? Incredible! Well, Derek, all that work in the first half has gone to waste. Conceding just before the half-time whistle. The manager will be fuming. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, you can see how happy the manager is. They've shown real grit to get back into this. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Anna. Well, that'll be a free kick. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. Teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Lopez. Florent Anna. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. And a strong tackle. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Alexandru Paun. High quality defending. Well, Spurs have been trying for a while to get this deal over the line, and now it is over the line, Lee. Well, the fee is around £50 million. Oh, what an opportunity! And there is the goal to make it a hat trick! Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. Well, here's the replay, and as we see, it's a class ball through to split the defence. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Neither side shy about shooting in this match. He's going forward well here. Look at Garitano. They do pass the ball with authority. Timothy Weyer. Poor pass under no real pressure. Monduki. Getting in there to take it away. And a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Anna. They've given it away. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Options in the centre. An attack full of promise. scoreline we see all that often 5-3 look at Gary Tanner it's way up on the ball possession lost 
the visitors have had total control of possession. If you have that much of the ball, you can put pressure on the opposition defence. And they look like they're creaking. That's why they're winning comfortably. Making progress. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Teammates in the middle. And the goalkeeper up to the task. Well, yeah, it's a decent save. But if he lets that in, you'd be asking questions. Look at Garitano. Well, no way through. Can't miss, surely. And a goal! They're running riot here, almost out of sight. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. And let's join Alan McAnally because I understand there's been a goal on the Toulouse game. Alan. It's a second goal for Chateau. 72 minutes played. 2-0. Thanks, Alan. Weah. An authoritative challenge. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Alexandru Paun. Timothy Weah. Real danger. Beautifully timed. And fed forwards. Will it be? In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Et but pour le Paris FC. Le numéro 14, Thierry Mandouki. Lee Seung Woo. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Great opportunity. And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, the ref will hear the crowd all right. We can hear him from here. He's taking some stick. Timothy Weah. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Just couldn't capitalise there. I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who is it for, Alan McAnally? It's a second goal for Sochaux. Five minutes remain. 2-1. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. He's got to have a go here. The free kick, and the keeper took it cleanly. Julian Lopez. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. They need to get bodies back. It might be. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. We are going to have two additional minutes. It might be on for them. And there goes the final whistle. Not the result the fans were hoping for, Lee. Yeah, and it was the nature of the performance more. Way up. 